Kia ora te whanau. Um, I'd like to just take a moment and um, honor my ancestors, um, very specifically uh, my mother who passed away five years ago today. Um, so I'm inviting the spirit and love and light of Terry Lynn Hines into the space today. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm going to ask you all to do me a favor really quickly. Um, I know you have things in your hands, but I want you to take your hands and put them together like this. Create some heat, some friction, feel some things, right? Make them real warm and real hot. And then I want you to take those hands. <laughs> and I want you to put them on your heart like this. And I want you to just take a second and be present to your heartbeat to that thing inside of your body that has you be allowed to be here in community today. That koha that the creator gave you, right, that you are sharing with us by your presence. And then I'm gonna ask you to listen from that space because we can't create an equitable space world. We can't end the sort of a tragedy of rape and sexual violence. We can't create a blockchain that doesn't replicate violence and oppression in the world if we don't build from this place, right? And so the work that I do is as the founder and radical executive officer of The Body Is Not An Apology. We are a digital media and education platform focused on radical self-love, as the foundational tool for social justice and global transformation. Essentially, I just mean that we can't build any of those things we said we want to build without building the infrastructure first inside of ourselves, based on our relationship with our own beings and our own bodies, and then translating that work into the work that we do in the world to create a more equitable, just, and compassionate planet. Because that's the one I want to live on. I don't know about y'all, but that's, that's what I want to do. <laughs> Right, so I want to share about sort of how we started because I don't think it matters as much what we do um, as how we do it, right? The spirit in which we create the things. So many years ago, about 2010, I am a performance poet by trade. If you didn't notice, I'm a little theatrical. I like to say I came out of my mama with jazz hands, which was really uncomfortable for her. <laughs> right. uh, but as a performance poet, uh, about six years ago, I was in Tennessee um, preparing for a competition with a team of folks, and I was having a conversation with a friend who was afraid that she had an unintended pregnancy. I'm nosy and I get in your business if you let me. There are a couple of people in the room who will attest to that. Who, who have I, raise your hand if I've gotten in your business. Yes, look at that. Oh, I'm in so many people's business, it makes me happy. Uh, <laughs> and so I asked her, um, what made her make the decision to have unprotected sex with this casual partner that had her in the situation that she was in? And she shared with me that because of her disability, she had cerebral palsy, it made it difficult for her to be sexual and so she didn't feel entitled to ask the person to use a condom. And my response to her in the conversation was, your body is not an apology. It is not something you offer to someone to say, sorry for my disability. And when I said those words, I believe that language has the possibility to create, right? Obviously it does, because we wouldn't be here to, today if it were not for a word that created the opening in space, right? And so I opened that space with your body is not an apology and I knew that it would become a poem. And so I'm gonna share the poem with you uh, that this idea came from. The body is not an apology. Let it not be forget-me-not fixed to mattress when night threatens to leave the room empty as the belly of a crow. The body is not an apology. Do not present it as a disassembled rifle when they have yet to prove themselves more than common intruder. The body is not an apology. Let it not be common as oil, ash, or toilet. Let it not be small as gravel, stain, or teeth. Let it not be mountain when it is grass. Let it not be ocean when it is sand. Let it not be shaken, flattened, or raised in contrition. The body is not an apology. 
Do not present the body as communion, confession. Do not ask for it to be pardoned as criminal. The body is not a crime, is not a gun, is not a spill to be contained, is not a lost set of keys, a wrong number dialed. It is not the orange burst of blood to shame white dresses. The body is not an apology. It is not a father's backhand. It's not mother's dinner, late again, wrecked jaw howl. It is not the drunken sorcery of contorting steel, round tree. The body is not calamity. The body is not a math test. The body is not a wrong answer. The body is not a failed class. You are not failing. The body is not an apology. It is not a cavity, not a hole to be filled, to be yanked out, not a broken thing to be mended, be tossed. The body is not prison, is not sentence to be served, is not pavement, is not prayer. Do not present the body as gift, only receive it as such. The body is not to be prayed for, is to be prayed to. So, for the evermore tortile 10th grade knows, hallelujah for the shower song throat that crackles like a grandfather's Victrola, hallelujah, for the spine that never healed, for the broken heart that didn't either, hallelujah, for the sloping pulp of back, hip, belly, hosanna, for the errant hairs that rove the face like a pack of misplaced wolves, hosanna, for the parts we have endeavored to excise, blessed be the cancer, the palsy, the womb that opens like a trap door, praise the body and its blackjack magic even in this. For the razor wire mouth, for the sweet God ribbon within, praise for the mistake that never was. Praise for the mistake you never were. For the bend, twist, fall and rise again. Fall and rise again. For the raising like an obstinate Christ. For the salvation of a body that bends like a baptismal bowl. For those who will worship at the lip of this sanctuary. Praise the body for the body is not an apology. The body is deity. The body is God. The body is God, the only righteous love who will never need repent. Thank you. From those words, a movement was birthed. And from that movement, a company was birthed. A digital media and education platform focused on how we transform our relationships with the body so that we can transform the world to the place where all of our bodies are allowed to live in the divine equity and brilliance which we were inherently born into. You don't have to become, you already are. Our work is to remove the obstructions that keep us from blossoming into the most radical, unapologetic, transformative versions of ourselves that the creator has destined for us. Thank you.